Wind, storm surge, inland flooding, familiar hurricane hazards. My house shook all night long. Now here's another one. I think because hurricanes are so large and so powerful and have so many hazards, we tend to sometimes not give the tornado threat enough credit. In tropical storms and hurricanes, you can have bona fide tornado outbreaks that have caused a lot of damage and taken a lot of lives. Hurricanes can actually be very efficient tornado makers. Tropical storms and hurricanes both have the characteristics to produce the instability and the wind shear. Those outer bands can be very prolific tornado producers, especially in the right front quadrant. That's where the strongest winds are usually found. Inside the hurricane, horizontal rolling air currents naturally form. The storm's fuel source, rising moist air, can tilt the airflow vertical, and you've got a tornado. So if you think your chances of being affected by a tornado in a tropical storm or hurricane event are really small, think again. Dozens of tornadoes can form in a single tropical storm or hurricane. Rita, 89. Francis, 103. And Hurricane Ivan, an astounding 120 tornadoes. When I think of tornadoes produced by hurricanes, I immediately think of Hurricane Ivan in 2004. One of those was an EF2 tornado. Just think of what Ida in 2021 and Beryl in 2024 did in terms of having multi-day tornado outbreaks. Beryl caused not only tornado outbreaks in Shreveport, Louisiana and southern Indiana, but all the way up into New York State. You might be thinking, well, Katrina is all about the storm surge and the flooding in New Orleans. But did you know that Katrina produced the largest August tornado outbreak in the state of Georgia's history and the only known tornado fatality in the month of August in the state of Georgia? This is insane. Hurricanes are not just about the winds and the storm surge and the flooding. They are definitely about tornadoes and tornado outbreaks. Even after it's no longer a tropical storm or depression, the tornado threat will continue and can take lives if we don't take these storms seriously.